being a congenital amputee means that I was born without my leg above the knee. My parents had to really kind of look around for a leg. There was a few places where they were offered what they call like a, a peg leg and it was made out of one piece of wood and hand cards to somewhat resemble a leg. I think the fact that I was very open about it, I always wore shorts and I got involved in sport wherever I could and that was kind of my way of fitting in and proving that I could do anything that they could. One of my fond memories is uh, the sack race at birthday parties. That was like my go-to race where I could uh, beat everyone and thrash everyone because I had excellent hopping skills. But as I got older, I got a little bit more competitive and that's when I started to get that real passion and drive for sport. I loved being able to do things that were, I was competitive against able-bodied people and I was like beating people in my high school for high jump and getting to go to inter schools. So what we did for me is I'd line up 10 steps back with my artificial leg, take it off and put it on the ground and then I'd hop forward and then flip over the bar forwards and it managed to be quite competitive. That's part of my personality now is growing up, I've just found ways to make things work for me so that I could do it. Being an above knee amputee, running is one of the things that we probably consider impossible. It was February last year where I just said, I'm going to stop making excuses and give it a go. I want to be able to run. It looks like a lot of people might be in pain, but it looks like they have a lot of fun. So I started running on my everyday leg. And an everyday leg is really just a basic leg. You just use it for sitting, standing and getting around. And the first time I started running, my leg actually slipped off and flew off and I landed flat on my face on West Coast Highway. But I managed to come back and I got a little bit further and a little bit further. And we're talking only like a few metres at a time. And then I worked my way up to about 5k. But running on the everyday leg was a lot more painful. So when I first did the HBF run for a reason, I did the 12k run and I lost bits of skin and blisters and I couldn't wear my leg after I'd finished the race. And I was like, this, this is great, but I need to get something that's actually designed for running. Since getting the blade, the first uh, competition I had with that was the World Championships in London. This was my first international competition in triathlon. The race went really well and I ended up finishing sixth in the world for my first race. And in December I had the Ironman. So for those who don't know, an Ironman is a 3.8 kilometre swim, 180 kilometre bike ride, and just to finish it off with a short 42.2 kilometre marathon. About 3.30 in the morning was when I had to get up for the race. Jumped into the water and started swimming behind everyone and just started weaving my way through as we did the swim. And an hour later I came out of the swim in the top 200 of 1500 able-bodied athletes. So when I come out of the water, I normally chuck on my running leg to run up the beach to the first transition and then I swap legs, so I pop it off, swap legs and put on my cycling leg and put on my cycling shoe and then come back at the end of the cycle and swap back to my running leg and my running shoes. So I managed to keep plodding along and I finished the Ironman in 11 hours and 49 minutes and I was the first Australian above knee amputee to do it and in a world record time. Finding the next challenge is what motivates me and that's kind of how I've started this whole journey. Stop saying no to things and just try. It doesn't matter if you're not successful or if you don't do it the first time, just give it a go and chances are you'll surprise yourself. One of my New Year's resolutions for 2015 would be to not hit snooze, to get up on the first alarm because I find that if you get up on the first alarm you're always on a better foot for the rest of the day.